everybody, Gerdy here. And it's Gerdy. It's not Geddy. It's not Jerry. It's not Jeddy. It's not Jerdy. It's not. There's ways in which people pronounce my name that I can't even do. And it's come to the point that I introduce myself here in Austria, not even as Gerdy anymore, because they can't say it here either. And I always thought I had an easy name, you know, it's just five letters, G-E-R-D-I. But um, uh, I found out I didn't when I worked uh, in the United States as a tennis coach for a month, for a summer. Because uh, people up out there gave up inside of a week, which is why, uh, just turning, because Paco is here as well. And he was uh, entangling me in the line. So in the leash, uh, but um, I was, I was reminded of the fact, or I learned that my name is apparently not so easy, because uh, they gave up inside of a week. Inside of a week, I had a nickname which was Dutchy, which is why there's Dutchy in my profile name. Anyways, so how do you pronounce my name? Because it would be nice if I were not to forget how to pronounce my own name, and sometimes that nearly happens. And that's just the first bit. So, Morgen. So how do you pronounce my name? It's Gerdy. You clear your throat and you roll your R's and you've got Gerdy. It's not so difficult. And it's not Geddy or Gerda or Gerdy or Eddy. That's what my uh, nephew called me when he was too little to be able to pronounce the G and the R sound. But um, see, it's not easy. It's not that difficult. And then, there's my last name. So over here, when people ask me, so you know how sometimes you go into a shop and people, you order something and they ask you for your name and I say Gerdy Verwoerd? They just give up. <laughs> they immediately give up. Which is, uh, I always call them Weigeia. Or, um, uh, what do you call them? Cowards. But anyways, um, so it's Gerdy. You clear your throat, or if you're able to say loch, you just continue to go on from there. You, you do the loch part silent, and then you go gerdy. It's not. And you roll your R's. That's all you have to do. You have to clear your throat, continue from there, and roll your R's, and you've got gerdy. And I'll forgive you if you won't be able to say verwoord. That's uh, if I speak a lot of German, which I do since I live in Austria, I sometimes forget how to say my own last name as well. But there's a lot of rolling R's in there as well. So, don't do as my doctor's assistant did when she called my name the very first time I was there. I was sitting in the waiting room and somebody said something like and I had no idea what that meant. So I continued reading and until she came up to me and said, you are Gerdi and Verwoerd, aren't you? I thought, okay, so that's how they pronounce my full name, Gerdien Verwoerd. Gerdien, not, not even Gerdien, Gerdien Verwoerd. Which, I suppose, if you uh, look at the way my name is spelled and you're German speaking, is the proper way to pronounce my name, in any case. It's Gerdi Verwoerd, and I'd love it if you try, but I'll be totally fine. If you come from the United States, have known me for 30 years and still call me Dutchie. Anyways, I thought I'd tell you guys how to pronounce my name. And uh, that's how you do it. Have fun, guys. It's a beautiful day out here. It's still cold, but it's beautiful. And, uh, well, as always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.